Hello, everybody, and welcome to JA Today. I'm your host, Super Bowl champion, Ellis Wims. Now, today we have very, very special guests uh, here on our podcast. Uh, we, have, uh, we have some young men from our JA company program. Uh, they started a company called Who's Got Next, WGN. We have Mr. Dante Zane Elam. We have Mr. Shane Patel, and we have Mr. Walton Canoe. How you guys doing? Doing good. Thank you for having good. us. Yeah, and we appreciate you guys being on. We also have uh, one of our great board members, a uh, guy who supports all of these programs and supports all uh, a, a lot of our, our kids. We have Mr. Praveen Naik. Uh, he's the global lead for energy at Gartner. Uh, and again, he's also a great JA board member. How are you doing, Praveen? Great, Ellis. Thank you for having me here. Excited about the conversation today. Cool, man. Hey, I appreciate you coming on, man. I appreciate all the work you do with our students. Uh, now, again, when I got an op- when I found out I had an opportunity to interview one some some young men that are part of our JA program, but also they're 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 creating a company that covers sports uh, and and getting getting kids more exposure for in high school. Uh, I jumped at the opportunity to be able to talk to you guys about what you're doing in business. But also talk to you about what you're doing in sports and kind of you know what where that love comes from. So uh, I'm looking forward to just hearing more about your story. I want our audience to hear more about your story and, and kind of what you do and wh- where you come from. So uh, we'll start off here. You know, each one of you, uh, you know, starting with you, Walton, give us a, a little bit of your background. You know, where you're from, how old you are, what school you go to. Okay, uh, I'm Walter Kuno. I'm the CEO founder of Who Got Next. Uh, currently, I'm a junior here. I'm a student entrepreneur at the Village High School. I partake in the entrepreneurship diploma and the IB diploma. Uh, I play basketball here. I've loved basketball my whole life. I just love playing sports, and that's really what got me into this business and just got me going with this. Okay, so you a hooper? Yes, yes, I am. You think you could take me one on one, bro? Definitely. definitely. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's what you're supposed to say. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to say. Uh, That's what's uh, going to happen. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love the uh, Yeah. So, uh, uh, Dante. Uh, my name is Dante Zainilhom. Uh, I'm a junior at the Village School. I'm the CFO and the head of innovation at Who Got Next. Uh, I run cross country and track. And at school, I'm. I do the entrepreneurship and the ID diploma, and yeah. Okay, uh, cool, cool. Uh, and, and Sean? Yeah, so I'm Sean Patel, the CMO and head of social media, making sure everything on the social media side of our business runs smooth. Uh, I also, I used to be a hooper. I'm not a hooper anymore, but you know, I can still take you one-on-one. Uh, um, oh, you, you, hey, you can get it too. Like, you can get it too. So I, I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm showing up to the village school. This, all I need is a basketball court and a ball. And, and, and I, I, I give it to yeah, both of y'all. We got three gyms here at Village. We, we can take you there. We can take you to okay. one of them. I, and, I, and I'll beat y'all in all three of them gyms. I promise okay. you. All right. We can go to, uh, from gym to gym, and I'll get them, I'll get them W's. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so, so, guys, tell us, you know, the name of your business. Uh, just tell us a little bit about your business, the origin of it. And what challenge does it solve for the customers you serve? So we are Who Got Next. Uh, As I said, we're all student entrepreneurs here at the Village High School. Uh, Basically, we see that there are a lot of athletes, high school athletes out there who are underrepresented. They have the talent. They have the skill set to go play in college. But they just don't know how to get there or they don't have the exposure to get there. So basically what we do, we're giving them that exposure and recognition so that they can go play in college. Right now, we're working via Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. We're posting every day, interacting with athletes, interacting with college recruiting teams, just to be the bridge between the two, you know, just to connect the two, give them a platform where they can get to the college level and everything. And as far as background goes, as we said, we're just all athletes, and we just all love sports, and that's really what pushed us to do this because we know the struggle of trying to get your name out there even though you feel like you're good enough. So that's why we wanted to solve this issue. Absolutely. And again, uh, you know, college sports is a multi-billion dollar industry uh, and it covers the entire country. Uh, it's hard for recruiters, 
hard for schools to identify every single person that may be able to help their team. Uh, so I think this is a great business idea, another platform that gives athletes who work their tails off to acquire a certain level of skill and to make sure they can get more opportunity to, to take that skill to the next level from high school to college. So again, I love the concept uh, and it's definitely something that's needed. And a lot of, I think a lot of young athletes will appreciate what you guys are doing. That's pretty cool. Sean, so, uh, so tell me this. So how has the JA program kind of impacted you uh, professionally as far as how you see yourself as a professional and personally, like how you see yourself as a person? So obviously Jay has helped so many ways, you know, pitching skills, uh, all the good stuff, learning about a business. But professionally, I'd say just the environment, you know, having to pitch your idea to investors, because investors, their main goal is to make money, you know. So we're trying to persuade them to give us that investment and doing that, we learn different tactics, how to, how to make sure that, you know, we present ourselves with a good manner and all that. And personally, I mean, I just say I learned more about, you know, the college level, you know, what it takes to play in college, all the different aspects of how college level ball works or any sport works. And yeah, it's been a fun ride though so far for sure. Yeah, I, I like one word that you said, uh, one thing that you said, y'all understand that it's about the paper at the end of the day, <laughs> right? It's, it's, great to have a, it's great to have a good story. But it's great that you guys have that perspective of, again, at the end of the day, it's about that balance sheet, it's about dollars and cents. And yeah. if you guys, are, you know, figuring that part of it out and getting that part of it, uh, and how old are you guys, what, 16, 17? Yeah, we're 16, 17. 17. I'm 16. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys are definitely ahead of the curve there uh, as far as just understanding, okay, what this thing is about. Um, so, so all of you kind of tell me a little bit, like, where did your love – of sports kind of come from? Like what, what, what was your origin story of your love for sports? So for me, uh, I'm a really big football fan. I like the Ravens because I play Madden a lot. And uh, I like Ray Lewis. That's how, I, that's how I like the Ravens. I, I got my first sack against the Ravens. So <laughs> got my first ever sack against your team. So take that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I used to grow when I was growing up. Uh, I used to watch, watch a lot of football with my dad, and that's kind of how I came up. Um, I started playing a lot of sports growing up, and you know, recently I had some medical problems that kind of stopped me from playing sports. And I think through Who Got Next, it'll help me give others the opportunity, and it's kind of about giving for me. Yeah. A absolutely, and again, the, the, the industry of sports is a billion dollar industry. Uh, for more than just playing it, right? There's so many different aspects of sport uh, where people support uh, or putting that product out at every different level, pro, college, even high school. Uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the, the business of sport is huge. So you need people, uh, more than people who can just play it, you need people who can pr produce it, uh, help support it, uh, help take care of the players, market players. So, uh, I, I'm glad you kind of found your passion there. Uh, um, so, so, uh, so, uh, 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 Sean. So, where'd, you, where'd your love for sport come from? So, I, I got a pretty weird story. I'm not gonna lie. So, my, my <laughs> dad is from San Francisco, and my mom is from Dallas, right? So yeah. I mean, the Dallas Cowboys, a little bit in me. I got the 49ers in me, and then also I love basketball. I love the Mavericks and the Warriors. Steph Curry, my favorite athlete. But yeah, I'm a I'm a huge Cowboys fan. Um, Boo! I, love, I don't know about that. <laughs> I love Dak, you know. Boo them Cowboys. You know, some things Jerry Jones does I question a bit, but other than that, yeah, I love my Cowboys. So everybody questions Jerry, man, but yeah. hey, he owns yeah. the team. What can you say? The heaviest the head that wears the wears the crown. So at you know. the end of the day, you know, I just gotta act like I agree with he what he does. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got a I got a recorded sack against your Cowboys too. So both of you too. Smash it. Everybody has a sack. A recorded record smashing both of y'all teams. So, <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, so Walter, uh, you know where where's your love of sport come from? Yeah, you know, uh, growing up in Houston my whole life, you know, so just the environment, baseball. Football, basketball, everything is just such a sporty environment. For me personally, the Rockets 
really got me into basketball first with uh, James Harden and all of them. Just really inspired me, like, just the way I played, too. It just They all inspired me to start getting into basketball. And from that, I just grew a love for sports in every sport, every category, and that's really where it came from for me. Yeah, I love it, man. I, lo I love it. Again, I, I love sports. I played basketball, football uh, all the way through high school. Uh, I actually like playing basketball more than I like playing football. But, you know, I, I had scholarship offers for football, so it's business. You got to make a business decision. I can yeah. either go to – I can either go to Jacksonville State to play basketball or go to the SEC and play football. That's an yeah. easy decision to make. <laughs> uh, yeah. so, uh, so, Verveen, again, uh, so Verveen, uh, again, these pitch competitions are a key component of our uh, untepreneur program over at JA. They're a key component. So why do you think these, the pitch competitions are so important to the students that participate? Yeah, I mean, look, one of, the, one of the things I tell my kids is educational is foundational, right, for your success. But what, what makes it more special and unique is the ability to have the conviction, confidence, and believe in yourself when you go out there in public. But the fact that the students like you know, of our WGN team here are able to sit down and work with, in an audience of 300 to 400 people, and be clear in the way they articulate their value proposition in a public forum, like a pitch competition or what we call as entrepreneurship challenge, it is really exciting. And the fact that this specific challenge provides an opportunity for local community members and the students to work together and get ready for the workforce and put a pathway for entrepreneurship is another great excitement for us. So we believe that with, with what the students just talked about, at every stage, right from the inception of the idea, when they bring up an idea to us and say, hey, this is what it looks like, we'll have resources teed up, be it you know, VCs or be it owners of business um, or be it technology owners and business people and such, come together and help them tailor the message. So to your question on the pitch competition or the entrepreneurship competition, it is an avenue or an arena for them to come up and talk about what they've accomplished, what they've done, and test the hypothesis among a broader audience and learn. I think that was one of the things I love about the students and what we've developed here is the fact that there's continuous learning. It's not, it's not such a thing as we've accomplished something, we're done with it, but there's always room, for, room to grow, and you can see that in each of these students here. Yeah, uh, and again, I, I love, uh, again, the, one of the things that drew me to JA uh, is the fact that people like you, uh, you know, that are in the business community, that are thriving in the business community, that have that experience, and can kind of bring that element to the table for the students that we serve. Uh, and again, you, you, you bring that credibility of he's been there, he's done that, he's doing that. Uh, and you can kind of bring that real life, real world perspective to what they're doing uh, and how they can make it successful. So again, that, that's one of the things that kind of drew me to JA is just the, the amount of really, really successful business people who have a good heart love their community uh, and able to bring that uh, that level of expertise uh, to uh, uh, these young men who are who are learning how to build their company have a great idea but they they have they have to learn how to build it and how to pitch it uh, so again that's that that's one of the things that that drew me drew me to the to to ja so uh, yeah that, uh, great uh, so with uh, with so you guys uh, over at w wgn again you guys are on a roll right now you just Taking over the world right now. So you guys, again, you guys won the J the J A Entrepreneur Challenge. Uh, you also just won another challenge recently, where you got another what, three or four thousand dollars of investment, you know, in your company. So do you, do you think kind of going through these pitch competitions uh, is kind of helping you prepare for your you know your career in the future, uh, Walton? Yeah. So uh, I think these pitch competitions are really important, actually, because um, when we uh, our business expands more and more, we're going to come across lots of investors or people who want to take part in it. So we need to learn how to pitch our idea to them and just tell them, OK, this is our business and this is why you should invest in us. This is why you should trust us with your money. We're going to get you your money back. It's going to be a good return on investment. And also, as far as career wise goes, we all want to do something in the sports management or sports agency industry. 
So uh, just doing more in sports, just learning it, how to pitch it, how to represent ourselves, that's going to help much when we're maybe talking to a team on behalf of an athlete. We need to pitch the athlete to them. So these competitions are helping us just show, like, know how to prove ourselves and know how to get people to trust us and what we do. Man, uh, again, you guys are uh, yeah, you guys are sharp. Uh, I like it. I trust you. Uh, you can represent, yeah, you, you can represent me. Right? If I could fly yeah. back to prop, you guys will be my agent. I send you guys yeah. there to to, to negotiate. You guys probably will come up with great deals for me, for me honestly, because you guys are, are really really sharp, and innovative, uh, smart, uh, and you think outside of the box. So uh, yeah, I, I would love to have you guys represent me. If I could turn the clock back, I got a little too long in the tooth. Uh, to get back for you, right? <laughs> oh, what? There's always a basketball career for you. We can get you the NBA. Oh, y- yep. What? Uh, I mean, I could beat y'all. I don't know about uh, NBA, but I know I can yeah. beat y'all. <laughs> yeah. If the NBA is me, I can, I can take y'all out. But I don't know about <laughs> NBA. I don't know about Russell Westbrook. I don't know about Giannis. Like, I, I watched Giannis play against the Rockets uh, last year. Man, uh-huh. that was like a man amongst boys. Like I would not want to see Giannis at at my ripe age of forty three and have to deal with Giannis coming at me full speed. Yeah. I probably just, I probably either I would lay down or I just like flagrantly foul him just so I don't get embarrassed. I'd probably take him out, get suspended. Uh, so uh, so, uh, so so for me again, uh, you know you're a board member. Um, you judge a pitch competition. Uh, so, uh, you know, being a part, uh, what was what was it like being a part of just judging a pitch competition and uh, just kind of, uh, you know, being a part of seeing these young people kind of, uh, you know, grow and learn and fail and succeed right in front of your eyes? What was that like? I mean, it is just one word I'll define. Um, it's electric, right? Just to be in that room, sitting down with these young adults, such professionals. I mean... I'll have to say that, the, again, this goes back to the confidence, conviction, and the ability for them to kind of not think twice or thrice, but really have their specific conversations on what they're looking at. The fact that we had Dante, Walton, and Sean, you know, other members there represent themselves as CEOs, CMOs, or CFOs at this age, 15, 16, and 17 is phenomenal. Amazing. Like, the fact yeah. that you can get, oh, sorry. Oh no, no! At fifteen or sixteen, like I, 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 the only thing I was worried about was, you know, trying to make it to my girlfriend's house. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are building companies. That's it's amazing. It is because drawing from my own experience, I left home at a very early age. I went to different countries to study, and you know, there was always a, a need to have this continued, sustained mentorship opportunity or guidance, right? Because a lot of times. You know, we, we make a lot of mistakes, which is good. You know, failure teaches a lot of things. But also, it doesn't mean that, hey, I failed. It's a good thing. What have I learned from that failure, right? And that's, that's what it's all about. It's about maintaining it, not about winning or losing. It's about maintaining the momentum you've created. And I, I truly see that the students we have here and just the way that their demeanor and the way they, they are so humble about the things they're achieving is going to have greatness in them written all over. And, and that, that is really what makes us so gratified and, and happy about what we do and the work and the board. And that's part of the reason I joined the board, because I was on the sidelines before looking at a lot of these things. When I visited our facility, got to meet some of our great women and men that support JA and the students here. It, it makes it that much more fulfilling to see that we can actually make a difference in their lives. And more importantly, for them to be prepared in their next avenue, could be sports management, or could be, you know, in the marketing arena, or could be something on the business side. But again, if we could be a 1% or 2% um, factor in helping them launch their careers and their life, that is probably the best feeling that we'll accomplish as a board member. Definitely, definitely. I, 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 I echo that sentiment again. It's great to kind of see these young people just kind of take off and take off way earlier than we ever could. Uh, that, that is awesome to see. Uh, so for, for all three of you guys, starting with you, Walton, uh, so what advice would you give a fellow student that would be thinking about you know, going through this process uh, or going through this process? And what advice would you kind of tell them to ignore? Mm-hmm. 
So, uh, for as far as advice, um, mm -hmm. just believe in yourself, you know, like, because I've gone through, like, so many, like, struggles, and we all have, all three of us, just trying to, like, how to get more followers, how to get more sales, how to how to win these pitch competitions. There's so many struggles that come along with it. But at the end of the day, it's just keep going, because, like, the second you give up, there's going to be, you're just, your regret is going to outweigh your uh, losses and your failure, failure, so... In that aspect, just keep going, keep believing in yourself. And as far as what to ignore, like sometimes you're gonna have people that are older than you, like just telling you some stuff, you know, giving you advice that's like, it's gonna happen, giving you advice, but like as like the person who made the business or like helping run the business, like just stick to your beliefs and like your philosophy on what how the business should be run and like how to do it yourself. Cause that's, that's the most important part for me. Those are very wise comments right there. It's very, very wise. You're wise beyond your years, young man. Uh, so that, that was, those are very wise comments. Uh, so, Sean, what you got? I mean, you know, first off, I would say find yourself a mentor, someone that's going to help you, you know, thrive, you know, with the business that you have. Also, to build off what Walton said, you know, look at, like, don't look at, like, the, the I don't know how to say, like, the, like, just don't look at, Having success right away, work on building it day by day, keeping with it, you know, staying, staying with it, because you're not gonna get success uh, right away. It's like basketball when you're down by 21 points, you're not gonna get a 21 point play. You gotta build up, you gotta, you know, make a few threes, you know, here and there. So it's like building up slowly and getting to the end goal. As far as for things or things not, not I, I wouldn't suggest. Just like Walton said, you know, there's people who think they're expert at everything. They're gonna tell you things, you know, to do. But if you know what the business is about and you truly know what's good for the business, just follow that and yeah. I like that. Trust yourself and trust your vision and uh, see it through. I like that, guys. Uh, so, Dante, what you got? So, there's going to be a lot of days where it's hard, you know. And for us especially, you know, preparing for pitch competitions, yeah. we have to practice a lot. And that's that's why, you know, we we win a lot of these competitions because there's a lot of days where we just practice so much that we become just naturally good at it and then slowly it loses our nerves and also like in terms of just the pitch competition in general i would say like don't be nervous and just act like you're on the same playing field as the judges you know be open with them have a conversation before and after and you should also never question your preparation because you know what the business is uh you're the one that worked nights like hard nights for it and as far as what you shouldn't take it for in terms of advice, I'd say, like, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to try to break you down and just say, like, oh, your business is trash. You should stop. Mm -hmm. Or people that think they know better than you. And as Sean and Walton said, just stick to your judgment. Whatever you think is the best. You know, at the same time, you shouldn't reject all advice, but you should just filter out what you think is best for you and the company. Man, uh, again, you guys are, are wise beyond your years, man. It is amazing to see what you guys are doing. Uh, so proud of all three of you for just how hard you work to prepare, because I know it's hard work uh, to, to build a company, to pitch a company, to see a vision through, to have failures, uh, to, to have successes, uh, and to just keep trusting your vision. And you all, you all three of you seem strong enough as young men to trust yourself, trust your vision, and trust what you want. Uh, to go after, you know, building a successful company. It'll evolve over time, uh, but you guys just uh, seem to, you know, you, you're you're strong enough and you're smart enough to stick to what you want, man. So, uh, tell yeah. us where pe so tell us where people can find you. Yeah, if you want to find us, you know, our main platform we work via Instagram. You can go follow us at Who Got Next. Uh, it's gonna be uh, the E and the Next is actually a Z. So who got next? E and the next is a Z. So you can go follow there. Come support. Okay. Uh, you got some final words here for me? I was just going to share that a minute and a half conversation we had before this when them talking about everything that they shared. That really shows what America is all about. This right here is the entrepreneurship incubator right here. Look at the confidence in the kids, the way they talk about it. Right? And it's hard to find that. And, and the maturity, like, like you said, Ellis, the maturity at this age of 15, 16, to 17 have that confidence and also the knowledge. And, and really the, the, the way that they're looking at things, perceiving things, looking at success and failure, 
that is hard to find. So for everybody out there, I mean, just learn from each and everybody that you get, right? And don't take no for an answer. And I'm a big believer in this seven words called as you think, so shall you be. And it's such a big deal. I keep that etched. I have it etched all over my place. It's just probably the best thing you could do to yourself and continue to believe yourself. I'm excited for y'all and uh, wish you lots of great luck. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Good. Cool. So, who got next? I got next. You with got you, next with, with you too. Come to see okay. y'all. <laughs> come to see y'all. But man, hey, thank you guys for taking the time to come on again. Uh, again, as, as board members, I think we're all, uh, you know, I know me and Praveen, and all of us are so proud of you guys that you represent like what we're about uh, as, as, as junior achievement as an organization. Like you represent what we want to do and what we want to be known for doing, which is helping to lead young people uh, to their vision of their life and helping support them. So, again, proud of all three of you guys. Uh, again, thank you to everyone uh, for listening to our podcast, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys.